Introducing transistors, a vital component in modern technology. Transistors are made up of two p-n junctions with a p-type or n-type semiconductor sandwiched in between. There are two types, NPN and PNP transistors. In both types, there are three terminals, the emitter, the base, and the collector. The emitter, located on one side, supplies charge carriers, either electrons or holes. It is always forward, biased with respect to the base, ensuring a large number of majority carriers are supplied. The emitter of a PNP transistor, which is P-type, is forward biased and supplies hole charges to its junction with the base. On the other hand, the emitter of an NPN transistor, which is N-type, is forward biased and supplies free electrons to its junction with the base. Moving on to the collector, located on the other side, it collects the charges. It is always reverse, bias to remove charges from its junction with the base. The collector of a PNP transistor, which is P-type, is reverse biased and receives hole charges that flow in the output circuit. Conversely, the collector of an NPN transistor, which is N-type, is also reverse biased and receives electrons. Lastly, we have the base, which forms the two PN junctions between the emitter and collector. The base emitter junction is forward biased, allowing low resistance for the emitter circuit. On the other hand, the base collector junction is reverse biased, providing high resistance in the collector circuit. Now let's explore the fascinating origin of the name transistor. This device consists of two PN junctions, one forward biased and the other reverse biased. The forward biased junction offers a low resistance path, while the reverse biased junction has a high resistance path. This unique characteristic allows the transistor to transfer a signal from a low resistance circuit to a high resistance circuit. In other words, it transfers the signal just like a resistor. Combining the two, words gives us the name transistor. Finally, let's delve into the working of an NPN transistor with a forward bias on the emitter base junction and a reverse bias on the collector base junction, the N-type emitter causes electrons to flow towards the base. This flow constitutes the emitter current. As these electrons pass through the P-type base, they combine with holes. However, due to the base being lightly doped and thin, only a few electrons, less than 5%, combine with holes to form the base current. The majority, more than 95%, cross over into the collector region constituting the collector current. Thus, almost the entire emitter current flows in the collector circuit. It is evident that the emitter current is the sum of the collector and base currents. Transistors play a crucial role in countless electronic devices, enabling the uh, transfer and amplification of signals. Understanding their structure, and operation provides a closer look into the wonders of modern technology. When a PMP transistor is forward biased, the holes in the P-type emitter flow towards the base, creating the emitter current. As these holes cross into the N-type base, they have a tendency to combine with the electrons. Due to the thinness and lightly doped Nature of the base, only a small percentage of holes, less than 5%, actually combine with the electrons. The majority of these holes, more than 
continue to cross into the collector region, where they form the collector current. This means that almost the entire emitter current flows through the collector circuit. It is important to note that current conduction within the PNP transistor occurs through holes. However, in the external connecting wires, the current still flows through electrons. <laughs>